Coming up on the program, the tips and techniques that you need to start peppers indoors so you can have a successful planting and harvest. Coming up. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener is sponsored in part by For all your non-GMO, heirloom, organic, vegetable, flowers, and herb seeds, visit dollarseed.com. Sue Growing Supply, located in Wausau, Wisconsin, focusing on certified leaf compost, an excellent amendment for poor soil. With their new garden blend, improving soil structure in clay and sandy soil, great for creating new garden beds. Also available from Sue's, pre-filled trays and pots with professional potting soil mix or organic rice hull based potting soil mix. Bag and bulk of certified leaf compost also available. Visit SueGrowingSupply.com. Don't poison your soil with municipal water. Attach a body, mind, and soil hose and filter. Free shipping exclusively through the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com. Just click on the body, mind, and soil icon. Authentic Haven brand, soil conditioner for the home gardener. Easy to brew, 100% organic. Visit ManureTea.com. Rain Reserve. Reserving your rain, preserving our future. Rain Reserve, manufacturing of rainwater capturing capabilities. Visit rainreserve.com and use coupon code RAIN2016 to save 10% on your total purchase. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joy Barrett. Well, it's time to get our peppers started. Now, you want to start your peppers 10 to 12 weeks before your last average frost date. You can be a little close, you know, you don't have to be ideal directly on there to, to get them planted. We're a couple weeks late. If you don't know when your last average frost date is, you can go to your favorite search engine and type in last average frost date of, put in your zip code, and it will be the last 10 years average. So just keep that in mind. Just don't throw them in the ground as soon as that date arrives. Now let's talk about growing peppers. Peppers are a tropical plant that require heat to germinate. They like bottom heat. So you want to be sure you put a, a heat mat. People won't, uh, you, can put a, you can buy a growing heat mat and put underneath your seedlings or you can use a bathroom heat mat. Now people say that that will give you irregular heat distribution on the bottom of your seed tray. But by doing that, you can uh, save some money or if you have a radiator with a cap on it or near a heat source, that will work as well. Now, as soon as you see these seeds pop out of the soil, then you wanna kinda get the heat off of them so they don't begin to get leggy. And legginess is when they begin to reach for the light and that will happen if there's excessive root heat. So we've got two different We've got a variety of different peppers that we could plant. We're only choosing to plant a couple of varieties. Hungarian Sweet Yellow, California Wonder Sweet, and we're gonna plant some Jalapeno. With any variety of peppers, the planting technique is always the same. You just wanna put them under the surface about a quarter of an inch, and they're gonna take seven to 14 days to germinate. Now, Here's the thing with peppers, if you like hot peppers, if you like sweet peppers, mild peppers, whatever the case is, you look at all the peppers, all the peppers seeds are the same because they're all coming from the same family. So if you're going to do this and plant multiple varieties and you want to designate in your garden or you're going to give them to people, you want to mark these things down so you're not giving somebody a habanero plant when they think they're getting a jalapeno plant or a sweet bell plant it can really ruin a friendship. So you want to be able to keep this uh, separate and designated so everybody's happy. So this, the technique is very simple. We're using three inch by three inch root, uh, root makers here. We could have went with a smaller size, but these are going to sit in here for about 10, 12, 13, 14 weeks. Now this is another, this is a smaller size. I've got two stacked here. This is a two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Root maker just allows the roots to air prune, which gives you more root follicles, 
which a better, more root follicles is a healthier plant when you go planting it. So we went with the three and a half by three and a half because these are going to be sitting in there a long time. Now we are going to put two seeds in every one of these cells just because we do have the seeds available and to guarantee one of these will start. Now if your seeds are very sparse and you only have four or five seeds that somebody has given you, yeah, go ahead and space them one per cell and then make sure those seeds are heirloom or organic and then you can save them for the following year. So it will plant two per cell here and if both of them germinate that's great we will go ahead and then divide them at when the plants are about two or three inches after they get their first set of true leaves we'll get in here and we'll gently extract them and move them in so we don't waste plants because pepper plants are you get enough, you pepper plants are very vital in the garden and uh, we don't want to waste anything if they're if they've germinated so we'll just start with uh, let's start with the California Wonder Sweet here. Now I've, you can use any type of potting mix, soil, what a potting mixture you want. We're using potting supplies from SueGrowingSupply.com. They have a variety of different professional potting soils as well as compost and garden blend materials that you can incorporate into your garden as well as use in your seed starting trays. So it's real simple here. We're just going to take and we're just going to basically put a little divot in there. Now what I'm going to do here, I did that wrong, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to plant two of them in the center. And then when one germinates, or both of them germinate, then I come back and remove one. So I'm going to get the rest of these planted and then we'll talk about the next step that you need to go ahead and do in order to have the best success at getting these started and having a successful germination on these pepper plants. Mm -hmm. So I've got the peppers planted here. I've got two trays of 18 cells per tray and two peppers in each cell so that's 72 peppers. Now we planted the California Wonder Pepper. It's a bell pepper yellow in color and, and it's a very sweet pepper to, to harvest and grow. Hungarian peppers are a banana shaped pepper. Now there's Hungarian sweet and Hungarian hot. Don't get those mixed, mixed up when you're putting them on your pizza. We did that a couple of years ago. It was a very unpleasant experience to try to eat very, very hot pizza. Now, if you like hot peppers, then that would be something very wonderful for you. Let's talk about how we're going to water these and how we're going to put ample light on these so we don't get a lot of legginess because these, unlike tomatoes, we'll talk about that in a minute here. Bottom watering is the best because if you just put water on top here, we've did a lot of combination with the potting mixes and compost and garden blends in these and they're going to hold the moisture very well. But also you want to not blast the water on top. If you have a misting system or a mister, that's fine. We're going to bottom water. We've got a tray here that we're going to put the water in. It's going to naturally wick up into the cells and hydrate them properly. Again, if you just water with a uh, watering can, you're going to flush a lot of that soil off and over the seeds and disturb a lot of that. So we want to do a, as minimal soil disturbance on the top as possible. And again, if you're watering on the top and excessive watering, and let's talk about watering a little bit more here. If you water excessively on top, you're going to begin to get fungus and you're going to get different colorations of mold growing on top of here. So you want to be aware of that. Bottom watering, fill the tray up, let it set for an hour, hour and a half. Once the top of the tray here, you can fill it, it's going to be damp, it's not going to be, it's going to be like a damp sponge. Then go ahead and drain the rest of that water out so it's not constantly setting in water. That's going to bring a, cause a lot of fungal diseases and problems in your plants. So if you don't have the root maker, let's talk about other options you can start seeds in. You can start these pepper seeds in. Again, you're going to want a lot of soil mass because these are going to be sitting there for 8, 10, 12, maybe longer based on how warm or how long it takes to get warm outside. So you get these, these at your local garden center. Uh, a lot of us have these laying around. These are a, a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So the same size as the uh, root maker, but it doesn't have the holes here to add root follicles and air prune the roots. These will work as well. 
Uh, we've got a couple other things, the famous party cup. Now, if you puncture holes in this, that's fine. If you don't, you want to be very conscious and cautious of how much water you put in these so these roots are not setting in water and drowning because seeds actually need oxygen to the roots for them to grow correctly and not die. You can also take uh, a larger thing. These had flowers that came in it several years ago. And this is a diameter of, I believe, about three and a half inches or so, almost four. So that's something you can, you can use. Again, a uh, couple options that you have when it comes to planting peppers. And they're going to sit there a long time. Now, for light, these are going to take a lot of light. Now, we've got a couple of different systems here of grow lights. We're going to introduce another system into our grow light family called the Happy Leaf LED light. It's a very unique light. It's going to add a lot of and be a lot of necessary light for these plants and I think that's where we're going to utilize the peppers to. Now if you don't have a light system, you don't have to have a light system. We grew for a number of years by just using the sun that came through the window and we'd rotate the plants because they will go towards the light and every day we have to turn the plant around and it would grow back. So that is not something you have to go out and have a large expense for is a grow light system. If that, that is an investment that that's something you can choose to use. It does work just fine with ambient light. You're going to get better growth, true enough, by using a grow light system. So we've got our peppers in the ground. We're going to start a few more and or there's some techniques that we are going to implement differently this year at the time of planting, but we will get to that when that time comes. Thanks for joining us. Join us again next time for more organic gardening and food preserving. I'm Joy Barrett and this has been the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.